Cato, who lost his starting job just a few weeks ago to that sophomore, a little bit rusty in his return as we look at his quarterback profile, brought to you by Sonic. And first play from scrimmage, a little razzle-dazzle, and going up top for his big Mary Dodson. Look at that! Right out the gate, the freshman goes 77 yards to the junior wide receiver. Touchdown, Marshall! James, maybe no better way to start your senior day out by having your true freshman quarterback hook up with a junior Aaron Dobson with play action. Damon Magazoo totally bit off. When you have a mobile quarterback, then you can get after it. You got to be able to take advantage of it. Man again, Trayvon Man keeps his feet across the 40 and forced out of bounds up near midfield. Martin Ward leading the way of big block in the backfield, and it's a pickup of 30 yards. Good job of just running power football up front and trying to take advantage of ECU that Nick Davis had last week. A lot of them were called runs that they wanted to get him more incorporated in the run game, and we saw why on that last play that unfortunately got negated for the Pirates. Here's the blitz throwing right into it. Picked off. Yes. Breaking on the ball, Rashad Jackson, and he has him on their feet here at Edwards Stadium. Well, I was calling for Benny Curry to make a play, but instead the redshirt senior Rashad Jackson, number five, shows up and makes a play on Andrew Bodenheimer. Dominique Davis telegraphed this, and Rashad Jackson did a tremendous job of breaking on it and coming up with a much-needed interception. Dominique Davis with the interception gives the herd a chance. Confusion, but there was obviously some confusion that time between the left tackle and left guard of Marshall. As Daryl Johnson was unblocked, that's back-to-back -back pass plays where they don't have a defender blocked. Three-man rush, he's going for Dobson. Dobson, the big, strong receiver! Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Wow! Oh, oh. 6'3", 204 pounds, muscles, a touchdown in. We talked about how big and fast and talented number three Aaron Dobson is. This is just a corner fade route with the one-handed, unbelievable catch, James. Maybe the best catch I've seen all year, and we've seen some incredible one-handed Doing a good job of being able to convert that. Dominique Davis and the confidence that Lincoln Riley has in this offense. Speaking of confidence, stepping in front and picking it off. Number two, Rashad Jackson. Outstanding break on the ball for the senior. From Blade Central, down in the muck in South Florida. Well, Dominique Davis telegraphing it right out of the gate again. Michael Dobson, or excuse me, Rashad Jackson doing a good job of anticipating breaking on the football and Marshall's defense responding early forcing another turnover ECU's third of the game game and a long road travel to get here his senior year at ECU for Dominique Davis trouble right now bam he's dropped Jeremiah Taylor the other defensive end the sophomore who came in weighing 320 pounds we talked about him being a difference maker. You see at the bottom of your screen, just a straight bull rush. There was pressure off the backside again by Vinnie Curry, who also did a good job. And ECU on the flip side needs to come up with a big play to keep this drive going. Well, the highlight reel play of the game was a third down and 13 at the goal line, a touchdown pass from Cato. Can he dial up some magic here on third and long? Thrown high, but pulled down by the little big man, Jermaine Kelsey. He'll keep on scooting, first down. Five foot eight, but he goes way upstairs to pull it down 17 yards on the pickup. Great job, Jermaine Kelson in one on one competition. And, and there we go again. Cato outside the pocket doing a good job. Couple missed tackles there, making Bradley Jacobs miss. And finally, oh man, oh. so literal. Alongside Aaron Taylor, I'm James Bates. We've got Brooke Collins down there on the field here at Edwards Stadium and down on the field. 
saw the red shirt freshman from San Diego go 33 yards to put the thundering herd back on top. It's a weak side power concept. Sunshine State, but now we got to show you how the West Coast rocks. Yeah, this is just a weak side power. Eric Von Apple coming up through inside and backside guard John Broom creating the way. A couple bad angles and missed tackles by this ECU defense. And the all time overtime records for you doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot right now. You've got a freshman. Doesn't know a lot about the history here in Huntington, West Virginia. About to take a snap for the thundering herd. Here we go. Play action pass, just like to start the game. And Trayvon Van slips out of the backfield. Trayvon to the goal line. Doesn't cross the plane, but it will be first down inside the one. This is just a good leg roll out with a wheel route to Trayvon Vaughn. Nobody goes with him and nobody covers him out in the flat. Straight off play action. He fakes the Vaughn and then throws back to him. Hits him in stride, makes a couple moves and gets down to the one as Daniel Drake comes over to make the tackle. ECU needs to try and bow up and if Marshall ever with their offensive line need to be able to create some room to punch this in, it's right here. It's Tron Martinez, the back now from under center. Here's Cato, hands off to him. Yes, touchdown, Marshall, they strike first. Great job by the left guard, chip blocking, getting up to the next level to be able to create some room. All you needed was about a foot and a half, and that offensive line for Marshall delivers as we have a player down for the Pirates. Making that tackle, Arrington. Trying to get outside this time and going backwards. There he is. Put the shoe on and get out there, young man. Vinnie Curry runs him down and drops him for a loss. Okay, Marshall's been doing a good job against the run. ECU decides to run two run plays back to back. The run really hasn't been there, doing a good job of keeping leverage. Excellent job there across the play. Marshall is one play away from on senior day as the sideline. People are jumping around, they're fired up. You just got to make a play, baby. And the Pirates just got to get to the 15. Five-man rush. Davis is hung up. Dominique Davis refuses to go down. Can anybody get open? No. Intercepted. Marshall goes down, and Marshall goes to a ball game. Daryl Roberts, the sophomore, also from Lakeland, Florida, finishes it off. Here in Huntington, West Virginia, in his second year.
as the head coach, Doc Holliday, has his guys doing just that. Here's a look at that last play one more time. They run that ghost coverage. They bring five to a little fire zone. Great job in there by Philip Warren. Being a spy technique for Dominique Davis. Davis does an excellent job of avoiding the rush. And we've seen him so many times tonight throw across his body and complete those passes. But he just didn't have enough at the very end. Enough time, enough protection, and enough ability to be able to get that football in the end zone to his open receiver. And how about Doc Holliday in his second year? It's not from the Wild West, but he sure can say, I'm your Huckleberry, as his thundering herd pulls it off. Excellent effort. Wow. Over time. We knew we had a good one on our hands. All kinds of great matchups across the college football landscape. I don't know that any of them were more exciting than the one we had here at Edwards Stadium in Huntington, West Virginia. Hope you enjoyed our broadcast because we certainly enjoyed bringing it to you on Thanksgiving weekend. Our overtime final is 34 to 27 as Marshall gets the six wins they needed to go to a bowl game for Aaron Taylor, Brooke Collins, and our entire crew. I'm James Bates saying so long from Huntington. For scores, highlights, features, and more, go to cbssports.com. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network. Let's send it back to our New York studio. Take it away, guys.